Hi, I'm Matt from Nintendads, a podcast where we talk about video games, board games, movies, and TV shows. Today, I'm here to talk about the board game Outfoxed. It's a cooperative deduction game where you work together to find out which fox stole the pie. It's a really fun, light game. It's really easy and quick, and I decided to do something a little bit different. I decided to film my kids playing to show you that even my two-year-old can play this game. What does the fox say? <laughs> So we remember how to play. We set up the board. Yeah, it doesn't and then we, big. No, it's not very big. And then we put all the clues down. And then we put the suspects around the end of the board. But most of the time, we just leave the suspects and we pull them out one by one because that's easier. I'm going to be the red one. I'm going to be the blue one. Okay. So we're going to be, so we're pigeons, right? And we're yeah. looking for clues. Why does blue like me? Yeah, we are the pigeons, because why are they Yeah, we're little like Sherlock Holmes. What's Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes is a detective who looks... That's the they, he gets clues and he solves crimes. What's crime? It's like when somebody does something bad. <gasps> so in this case, Mr. Fox stole a pie. So he took something that wasn't his. So he took the pie. The pie wasn't his, but he took it away. So we're trying we to find. There. We that's where there. we start. So I gotta put all the clues down first. So we just randomly put these clues out. We don't know what's what. Right? Get my pool. You're funny, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Yay. And Benny, you like this game too, because you know how to roll the dice. All right, so we'll do all four. All four. So Clark can be red. And mommy was blue. Yeah. But Ben is gonna be blue. And Daddy's gonna be green, and we'll play for mommy, and you guys can roll for mommy, and she'll be yellow. So what, we roll I'm these right dice, there. right? We roll Mommy these dice. Mama, blue. What is? What do the little feet do for us, Clark? It lets us move? Uh, yeah. And so you can get a two or a one on each dice. There's three dice. Or if you get the little eyeball, to get the eyeball, you can search for a suspect. What's a suspect? A suspect is... One of these foxes took the pie, remember? But we don't know which one. So we gotta look at the clues and figure it out. So we're gonna randomly get a thief and we're not gonna know who it is. What does the fox say? So we randomly get a thief. And so we, we can't even see who it is. And my boys can't see it because my hand is covering it. And you place it with the game right symbol. And it, it has a series of dots. And we, we'll slide the little slider when we get a clue. And those dots will tell us if we get a clue or not. Oh, you got six feet, which means you get to move six spaces. Nice work. He say, what does the fox say? <laughs> You're the blue one and you can move six spaces. So we're going to have you go farther away because you could get to those, but you can do this. You ready, Ben? Uh -huh. Let's count. One, two, two three, four, five, six. All right. So we look at the clue. And what is this clue? It's a flower. You see the flower? Mm -hmm. So we forgot. I think you start with two. We start with two suspects. So, ooh, Daisy. There's Daisy. Okay. She has, what does she have? A cloak, a cane, and a necklace, but no flower. 
Alright, and then let's get another suspect. Ooh, Henry. Henry's got. Let's see if I can get a picture of Henry here. There we go. Tell me about Henry. Uh, he has glasses. He's got glasses. And he has a, a hat. A hat? What else does he have? And he has that thing. A cane? A cane. And does he have a flower? No. no. Okay. So we know that if the this if, if, if the thief yep, if the thief has a flower, then I'll do it. I'll let you do it too. I'm gonna do one quick for the camera. So, because there's not a green spot there, we know. Okay. Here you go. Pull the tab. And then tell me if you see a green spot. Nope. No green spot. Good job. All right. So now give it back. Good job. So now. It's my turn. Neither. So that doesn't eliminate either of them because we know the thief doesn't have a flower. It's my turn. Yep, it's your turn. Go ahead and roll. Ooh, okay. So why don't you re-roll the eyeball? Ooh, all right. So you got, count how many feet that you got. One, two, three, four. Nice. So you're red. So why don't you move four? Yeah, I know. It's a little far. Sorry. Here, let me move it for you. Oops, I knocked over the... The fuck. Okay, so why don't you move to this one? Count when you move. Okay, one, one two, two, three. Yeah, I think that was four. You're fine. All right, let's look at the clue. Uh, Tell me what clue is this? Uh, <gasps> it's a cane. A cane. A cane? A cane? I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Let's put it on. Alright, slide it slowly. Can you see a green dot? No. No green dot. So there's no little green dot there, which tells us that the thief does not have a cane. What do these what do these two people have? What do they have? Canes and So they both have canes. Both of these have canes. So what do we tell them? Because we know they're not the thief. So what do we say? Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. You're free to go. You're free to go. Yeah. You say free to go, D. So what did we? What did we? What was our first clue? Mm. A yellow a thing. Flower. A flower. And a cane. Yeah, and we know the suspect doesn't have either of those. Where are three clues? A umbrella, neck, a uh, glove. A necklace. And so, Lily, does Lily. does she have all those things? Yeah. She has gloves, a an umbrella, one. and a necklace. So here's our moment of truth. We're going to say, Lily, you are the thief. You are the thief. Let's find out if that's correct. <gasps> Do the names match? Yeah. Yeah, we win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's outfoxed. I definitely recommend checking it out. Maybe check out your local game store. If you can't find it there, it's relatively inexpensive and easy to find online. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching.